What's up guys and welcome back to another haircut tutorial. As you can see this dude's hair is super long. He's gonna leave the top um, but we're gonna take the size down to a half um, but we're gonna leave some of the bulk there so that if he does decide to wear it down it has something to sit on and it's not just super disconnected. So we're gonna wet the hair and I'm gonna start doing some block graduation. I'm using my hands as a guide on the head and then I'm just gonna make my first cut and I'm gonna follow that all the way around to the other side of his head if I was to just buzz all this super short on the sides the hair on the top when he wears it down it would just fall over and flop over this is gonna it's gonna give some sort of support to where he can style his hair back and because there's still some here it's gonna sit more nicely. So you you can do this on longer hair and then just knock it out with a number four or a number three, whatever your finger length is. So I'm using a four. I'm coming right up into the bulk. And I'm just taking it all out. And eventually I'll come back into that weight line with um, blending shears. Just to lighten it up just a little bit. To soften it up. I want to keep most of the weight. But I also want to make sure that it's blended as, as good as possible. So once that's done, I'm going to take my half, which is the blade open on my ergos. And I'm putting that guideline in the same spot I would uh, a bald guideline for a bald face. And I'm just going to take that line and I'm going to contour it uh, a little bit in the back. I'm going to drop it just because of how far the back of his head protrudes out. I don't want to take it too high to where that's going to be super noticeable. The only time I ever take like a bald line that high in the back is if I'm doing like a super, super high bald fade. And even still, I try to drop a little bit just to customize it to the shape of the client's head. Because you want the haircut to look natural and you want it to fit 
the person's head shape it as best as you can. So once once you finish removing this bulk, the next step is the number one open. And I'm gonna take that and go up about three quarters of an inch, I would say. Remember right above that is a number four, so all we have to do is blend that one open to the four. Then I'll come in with my half guard and I'll just work it down open to close until that line starts to blend out. And now with this number two guard, I'm starting with it open and I'm going right up into the bulk that I created with the four. And I'm just kind of freehanding it. You can manipulate these guards to where you can go directly into a higher guard if you angle the clipper the right way or if you pull out at the right moment. So right underneath that two, I'm coming back with the one and a half and we're just blending the line that was left with the one open. And definitely take your time with these steps especially if you're a new barber um, don't worry too much about like speed of the haircut like getting haircuts done in 20 30 minutes just focus on the quality first and, and the, the speed will come with time you want to make sure that every client leaving your chair is leaving with the best haircut they could have possibly got because that's what's going to retain clients that's what's going to get new clients in your chair and that's what's going to you know get you busier So like I said, I'm coming right up to that bulk line and I'm just flicking the clipper away and it's blending right up into it. And the steps are the same. After that, I come in with a one and a half and I just clear the, the little line that's left. So after this, I'm gonna kinda outline this edge up just a little bit just so that I could see any imperfections in the haircut. When you do this, it kind of shows you where you need to go back into and touch up. And I'm not worrying too much about the sharpness of this because I'm gonna clean it up with the razor anyways. Like I said, I'm just solely trying to get any dark spots to pop more. So I'll come back in afterwards and I'll start detailing in small areas using the corners of the blade and so forth. So as I said earlier, I'm coming in here with some blending shears. I'm just lightly going into that bulk just to lighten it up a little bit. I'm trying to maintain as much weight as possible, but still have it with a natural blend. I don't want to look too bulky. So we're just going to do the same steps that I did into the other side. And when I get to this temple area, I notice that there is some extra hair that is still kind of sitting there that I'm not liking. So I'm going to eventually go back into that and detail it a little bit more.
So as you can see, I'm going a little bit deeper in here with the blending shears. What I should have done was just took my shears and just went over that again and just cut a little bit more hair. But instead I took a number four and I just went up just a little bit higher than I originally did just to clear a little bit more of that bulk. I just didn't like the way that it was sitting. And as you can see, his hair in some spots is a little less dense. Like right there in his temple, it kind of looks like a little bit of a ball spot, but it's just his hair. So same thing, I'm gonna line this side up just a bit, just to check for any dark spots that will pop and stuff like that. All right, so now I'm just detailing a little bit more with Share Over Comb. And this is super important because it's gonna allow you to get super, super in depth and in detail when you use your shears. And it, it creates a more softer look, I feel like in my opinion, than the clippers do. Cause I could have did this with Clipper Over Comb, but it creates more of a harsh line. So now we're gonna get into the top. Like I said, we're chopping a decent amount off, just enough to leave for him to put in a bun, as you can see. And man, he was super happy. He said he felt like a whole weight was lifted off his shoulders. As you can see, he was smiling there. Um, so we're gonna create a center profile parting here. And when I cut the hair, I'm angling the front forward. So the longest point is gonna be towards the front of his hairline. So Picture a slope like this. This is the front of his head. That's gonna be the, the longest spot. So the middle is gonna be the shortest piece because of the way that I parted it and I'm just gonna match it. I'm gonna work my way all the way back and then I'm gonna come into this side and do the same thing. I'm gonna match the two sides to the middle. And we're gonna work straight through into the back. And then once that's done, I'm going to dry it just a little bit with my blow dryer and I'm not styling. I do this basically with every haircut that I cut the top with shears. I just want to make sure the moisture is out of his hair because dry hair doesn't lie. Um, it'll show you anything that you need to go back into and touch up afterwards. So all I did was put just a little bit of um, oil into his hair. Um, just because, like I said, he's gonna button it up. So I just wanted to give him some sort of hold. So I'm just detangling his beard because we're gonna trim it up just a bit. I'm going with the number three with the grain, just to smooth the hairs down. He doesn't wanna take off much. He just wants to clean up like the loose hairs and fade the um, sideburn into the, into the fade. So I'm going with the one open, then the one closed. Then I'm gonna come down with the grain with the one. And that's about it for that. And then I'm going to just come in here and I'm just going to just kind of trim it just a tad bit. Like I said, he wants to keep as much as possible, but all those split ends that are just kind of fraying away, I'm just taking off. So we're going to throw some shave gel on here and we're going to start lining him up. And when I get to the to the C cup, I'm gonna use the toe of the blade, which is the first, the front portion of the blade, just to give a little bit more control in this area, as you can see. And once I get to the straighter portions of it, I'm using the full blade and the heel of the blade. So I'm gonna do the same thing on this side the toe of the blade and the C cup and the curve area, and then the full blade on the actual beard. So that's about it guys. Um, we're gonna see the before coming up right here. As you can see, he was looking rough. And we brought him back into the game. Here's the after.